Hi guys, when I was an absolute beginner and the first time I learned about this keyword, I thought this keyword is one of the unnecessary and useless thing in programming. But I was completely wrong, this keyword is very useful in programming. It is very difficult to explain this keyword with theory or definitions. In simple words, this keyword is used to refer any member of the current object. Now let's see first use of this keyword. Here I have created a class employee with two integers, id and salary and a string name. I also created a parameterized constructor to assign the value to our variables. Here we are using this keyword with instance variable because the names of parameters of constructor and instance variable are same. So this dot id means that this id variable is actually an instance variable of class employee. You might think that we can simply change the name of parameters and then we don't need this, this keyword. And you are correct. But if I created parameters like this int i string n and int s it looks ugly it doesn't make any sense the variables name doesn't make any sense so this is bad coding style let's see another use of this keyword we can use this keyword to invoke the current class constructor suppose we have two types of employees first regular employees and second interns so the regular employees has salary but the interns are not paid so they don't get any salary so here i have created two constructor one with salary for regular employees and another one for interns that is without salary parameter but you can see that both these constructors has identical or similar code a professional programmer always try to avoid duplicate code so we can use this keyword in this situation. So here we are invoking another constructor using this keyword. You might think that again this is of not much use. But when you will become professional and when you will work on complex stuff then you will realize how useful this keyword is. There are two things you should always keep in mind while invoking constructor using this keyword. First, it must be first statement in the constructor, otherwise you'll get an error. And second, you can do this only once per constructor. Now the final use of this keyword is to invoke a current class method. Lots of time we call one method inside another method. So here we are calling add inside calculate. But when we compile, compiler automatically add this keyword to this add method. So we don't write it manually, but this is another use of this keyword. Okay, let's see all this stuff practically. Let's summarize what we just learned. So here I have created a class practice with one parameterized constructor. Now here the name of parameter and instance variables are the same. So in such situations we can use this keyword. So this dot employee id equals employee id and this dot salary equals salary. Now I have added a display method to print our instance variable. Now let's pass some arguments and call our display method. So 1254 as employee id and 50,000 as salary and now I am calling display method. Let's run our program. 
and it's working fine now let's see how to call one constructor inside other using this and for that I need to create another parameterized constructor so this constructor accept only employee ID there is no salary parameter and we should always avoid duplication of code so here we'll use this keyword so this and I'll pass the employee ID and this is automatically called our constructor now let's run our program and it's working fine now let's use this to call another method actually we don't need to add this but still I'm showing you So let's add, uh, let's call another display method inside our display method. So this dot another display, and let's run our program, and it's working fine. Hi guys, is printed. Now we can also use this keyword to represent color object. This concept is a bit difficult for beginners, and it is mainly used in event handling. So don't worry about the color object stuff, but still I'll try to explain. So here I need to create two methods. So I'm creating a method as method one, which accept an object as parameter. and which prints high this method is called and I'm creating another method as method 2 and I'm method 1 and this keyword so actually okay I'll explain it later And let's call method 2 and method 1 was called so let's understand what just happened obj object calls method 2 and we pass the calling object that is obj as argument for method 1 using this so actually this keyword is representing our object so this is confusing but still I try to explain guys visit code archery and try to solve the exercises I created for you like code archery Facebook page and join our group you can also support me on patreon and if you like my work then please hit that like button and share my videos Thank you so much for subscribing.